next speaker and next guest on the show is Vishaka Datta. She writes and films non-fiction, works on gender, sexuality and the internet, runs the non-profit Point of View in Mumbai. As a board member of the Wikimedia Foundation, Vishaka has been involved with the foundation since 2010. For the uninformed, the Wikimedia Foundation operates uh, Wikipedia. She's on the board also of many women's rights organizations in India, including Breakthrough, CREA and Majlis. Her first book, And Who Will Make the Chapatis, focused on rural women's participation in politics, while her first independent documentary film, In the Flesh, explored the lives of three people in prostitution from their own perspectives. Her book, Nine Degrees of Justice, documented new perspectives on violence and women in India, while her film, Taza Khabar, explores a rural newspaper run by women, many of whom are Dalit or tribal. Zinda Lash is a tribute to every sex worker who is not recognized as a woman or a human being. She received a BA in Economics and an MA in English Literature from Mumbai University, as well as an MA in Communications from Stanford University. Please welcome Vishaka Datta. Vishaka, welcome to Jambit Sam. Thank you. Nice seeing you here. I'm same, yeah. So how many years do we know each other? I think 16? At least like 15. I 15, was 16. Say the same. I yeah, yeah. Our old friend Amar Suki introduced yes. us. And also Lawyers Collective. Lawyers Collective, yes. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Vishaka, multifaceted. That's the only way to describe you. Only one thing comes to mind when I say I see you at a, uh, you know, directing the movie over there. So tell me something about these movies you make. Okay. Specifically on, on women. I mean, what are the kind of movies you make on that? So what I like doing, you know, let me just tell you a little bit like when I grew up the word documentary was a really dirty word because I don't know if anybody here remembers but I remember going to see movies and they would show these terrible films division documentaries before the film started right and we would all run out and in those days you didn't even get the kind of pop call you get now but you would run out and say okay let me like go to the loo or whatever. So the thing is normally when you say documentaries people sort of yawn and say oh my god this must be like deathly dull. But the kind of documentaries that have started being made in India recently, and I do some of that kind of stuff, is much more like stories about real people. So just like our feature films are stories which are fiction, these are actually because there's so many interesting stories in like day-to-day -day life, right? So we pick up some of those. I'll talk about one very quickly, which is In the Flesh. So in In the Flesh, I actually followed three people who were all in prostitution. It was very interesting. There was an older woman in Calcutta. There was a younger woman in Sangli in Maharashtra. So sort of a rural situation. And there was a Hijra in Calcutta. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Who lived with her family, like mother, sister, etc. And then I had to build up the trust and tell their stories. And they were just interesting stories that you don't get to hear. That kind of stuff. So I like focusing on people and really telling their sort of stories. So these are real life people you shot? Yeah. Not actors? Not actors. That's okay. the whole thing with documentary is real life stories. Fantastic. Yeah. So you think the filmmaking has changed in the last couple of months, yeah. in the years because of friendly nice cameras over here? Hugely. Because unless you require that big video cameras and all so, to shoot. Yeah. <coughs> so you know honestly like for people <coughs> like me because documentaries don't have like huge budgets like Bollywood films. So one of the things was in the olden days, you not only had like the kind of film I made where I followed these three people, if I had to follow them with this giant camera and with somebody on sound, like you know, a crew of five people, there's no way they can be, because they're not actors, right? So they have to feel relaxed enough to go about their life. It's like imagine if somebody follows you from morning to night and says, I'll do a day in the life of. You have to be totally relaxed. So the smaller the camera, the easier it is. So technology has changed the entire thing, Fantastic. like completely. Yeah. How many business have you been into the last 15 years? Well, the non-profit I run is not technically speaking a business, but before that, when I used to do more film work, I used to run a small company called Kettler Fish because my name is Bishaka and a lot of people call me Bish and then some people call me Fish. Oh, so wow, my God. Wow. Kettle of Fish. So that was a lot of fun. And then I found actually that my interest was more in sort of women related stuff and films, etc. And so I just started a non-profit. Yeah. 
so and uh, you keep i mean you, you had in between gone about i think for a year or something abroad to write a book i hadn't gone away for a year to write a book i had you know all of us like anybody who's tried to do something which is outside your day to day life you know what a struggle it is right if you have any personal project because you somehow find time for it in the middle of like your 100000 things so i had gone away for a short period of time in what's called like a writing residency where they basically give you like beautiful surrounding full peace full quiet lovely food and the one i went to was in italy so italian food and you know you're just left to yourself and you write okay so yeah. you get you don't suffer a person who suffers from writer's block he can go over there anybody can creative go block, there, any yeah, creative because block. the thing is oh, yes because also they're not like sitting on your head with a stick and stick. saying you know how much have you written today so frankly you don't write a single word they don't care yeah okay just so it's very yeah over there okay yeah. so what has been your experience on online networking versus offline networking there are two types of networking online and offline what do you prefer i much prefer online okay yeah so uh, uh, meaning it's just you know it's part of your day now hmm. that's the first thing right you're just you just do it as something that you do i think that sometimes there's a joy that you get like we you know everybody was talking about twitter that's something i like a lot sometimes you just connect with somebody you don't know at all right okay. about something and you feel like you're thinking the same thing or you're connecting and there's something very nice about that and that person can be from anywhere in the world right, right? which is very different from offline where you're usually in the same geographic space etc etc so the diversity of online networking like who you yeah i think i i really enjoy it and also you can do it much more easily and build it into your day to day sort of thing so yeah. you prefer twitter as a platform for networking see i really i mean i'm not that active i go through sort of ups and downs <laughs> type of stuff um and i think one of the problems with a lot of non profits is we are really bad at social media yeah yeah you know we know we should take it seriously enough and often we take it seriously enough in our personal handles like i'm much more active on my personal handle on twitter than our non profit is but yes i like it i like that Intimate. yeah yeah so now coming to the big question what exactly is wikipedia and how does it function in india oh lord how does it function is like would take us a whole lifetime to sort of explore but wikipedia okay just very very briefly i mean everybody uses it right i'm assuming there isn't anybody here who has never gone to wikipedia right so it's an a free online encyclopedia what it's visited by about 500 million people every day, uh, every month so it actually is the fifth biggest website in the world after Microsoft Google Microsoft Facebook and Yahoo uh but unlike the top 4 it's a dot org hmm. so the difference is that if you imagine say a Google or a Facebook they have like tens of thousands of employees at Wikipedia we don't actually have employees what we have are volunteers so we have about 80000 volunteers around the world who actually create wikipedia so everything you read in wikipedia is created by people who for some reason like from 7 year olds to 70 year olds right okay some people just get hooked on to that thing of i can contribute to the world whatever i know so you might have like say a, a school boy who's very passionate about say some particular kind of food let's say that I, i met someone like that in kerala who took photographs of certain kinds of food and put those up on wikipedia, wikipedia. Okay. yeah okay. so it's basically like literally a platform on which you know all of us know all of us have little bits of knowledge right we always think like encyclopedias have to be written by experts who have knowledge but actually if you think about it all of us have some knowledge right so whether it's a mihir who knows about music whether it's tanvi who knows about branding etc yeah but then we feel like that's just like in our own sort of life but at wikipedia we've created a platform where if you know how to edit it 
you can you add that together. yeah now the problem is the how it works part is a little crazy because there are 285 different language wikipedias oh. yeah so in india itself there are all the big 20 languages are there including there's a sanskrit wikipedia oh. yeah even wow. though sanskrit is almost a, you know dead language at this point so the complication is that eat like you know, there are all sorts of rules and policies which people have to follow, which means you can't just go on and write Anything. any crap, yeah. but you can. Like I spent all of yesterday trying to correct an article where someone had just written nonsense. Like, yeah, and sometimes when we teach people how to edit Wikipedia, just for the fun of it, we say, okay, you can just go to any article and just write any rubbish, like two sentences, right? Mm. Because you see it, it come, it's live. Mm. And, but then you also see that within two seconds, that sentence gets deleted, deleted okay. by another volunteer who's oh. making sure that crap is not getting on. Okay, okay. Yeah, so okay. it's like a whole thing of army of volunteers, you know, some of whom do proofreading, some of them write on things. A lot of oh. people write on stuff which is not part of their day-to-day -day job, but which they're passionate about. Okay. Like I have a friend who's in the army and he's very, very passionate about cooking and food so he writes about food etc yeah so it's very much like that so supposing i as me sampad me sampad anger wants to start a wikipedia page can i start it or can anybody in this room start yes. their own wikipedia page their own means what about themselves about themselves yeah so you know the one of the few rules we have is you can start it about yourself but one of the things we say is that because it's an encyclopedia it has to be somewhat objective and chances are if you start something about yourself, you'll make it a little promotional. Uh, so then technically you're supposed to, if you start your own page, you know, there's a place where you're supposed to say that I've done my own my page. Plug, yeah, my yeah, yeah, kind plug. of thing. Yeah, but it's, uh, so we discourage that, but you could, no. frankly, because listen, if you start an account to contribute to Wikipedia, you know, just like on Twitter or on yeah. Facebook, you can have, have an account by any name. Mm -hmm right and similarly you don't so nobody would know actually if you actually doing it yourself. yeah 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 okay like with many online platforms you know you don't know that, who that person yeah. actually uh -huh. yeah okay yeah. so that means is supposing like i was searching for tanvi yeah and uh, the first thing which came up in her was a wikipedia so somebody has written some wikipedia about her over there yeah so many times even if you don't have a facebook or a web page that wikipedia account becomes correct very very important over there so it's very necessary to have a Wikipedia and you have to monitor that. Other somebody can write some other rubbish about yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. And you know, they'll say, I looked at Wikipedia, this is what it's saying over there. So I think it's very But that monitoring also goes on to other people. So I put up my page over there and these volunteer people are there, they'll also monitor that over there. See, they won't monitor in they'll just make sure that the rules are being oh, followed, okay. right? Okay. That kind okay. of thing. But they can't figure out, like suppose you have your page. Hmm. Hmm you will know what is correct and what is not, right? That the person can't figure out, but what they can figure out is every time you're writing something, are you adding a reference? Sure. Okay. You can't just like toko. Yeah, you, I mean, ideally, you can't just like put up a huge page of, because then why should anybody believe yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Why should anybody go to, yeah. Wikipedia. So are you educating people on how to use it? Do you have any programs or something that you can You know, we do it from time to time, but it's a little complicated. We do it again, we're all volunteers, right? So when people call us, we do it. But the thing is, once we start, it's fine to say technically, like on Wikipedia, it says the encyclopedia that anyone can edit. Mm. And that sounds great, like an invitation, mm. it's meant to. But once you start, then you say, okay, now I have to write one sentence. You write that sentence, then if you don't put a reference, suddenly after three minutes you find <laughs> sentence has vanished because okay. somebody else has said there's no reference. So how do we know this is a, you know, like a proper piece of information. Then you say, oh my God, now I have to find a reference. Then you go online and you start looking for a reference. Then you say, oh my God, this is not as easy as Facebook and Twitter. This takes time, this takes effort. Then after half an hour, you're like, okay, chalo, back to Twitter or Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you have to live your life again, what would you be? Accepting what you're doing right now. Now, because you've asked both of them, <laughs> I have already thought of this. <laughs> yeah. No, but one of the things actually surprisingly that I wanted to be when I was young, two things, both of which are related to music, was one, I wanted to be a drummer. 
Oh. And I was very disappointed that my mother made me learn the piano, <laughs> which is like as much the opposite of drumming as you can get, right? And the other thing is I actually really like music and I've always wanted to be a DJ. Mm. Yeah. So that's something, that's the kind of profession, to be honest, when I was much younger, you could never have done, right? Because these places didn't exist. Now you can do this kind of so stuff. If I tell you you can get that dream today in this, will you do it? But in this means like now I'll have right to... Right now, in five minutes, when you finish from this event, I'll introduce a guy who's got a DJ school and he can train you. Of course, yeah. Seriously. Okay. He's yeah. in the room right now. Okay, great. Fantastic. Yeah. A word out to all these entrepreneurs. You're a very different, you're a social entrepreneur, if I may call yeah. it over yeah. there. So, word out to all the entrepreneurs out over here. I think the main thing is to really believe in yourself. And I think the main thing is it doesn't matter whether you're different or whether you're the same or whatever. If you really believe in yourself, it comes through. And the other thing is you have to have the patience, right? It's like when people start businesses, they say you have to have like deep pockets. pockets. It doesn't matter whether you have deep pockets or not, I certainly don't. But you need to have deep patience because you can't like, you know, you, ha you can't expect like it's not a magic wand, nothing is, right? So it's not like on day one. Yeah, some people are lucky and things happen very quickly. Some people have to sort of pace themselves out. So that's what I would okay. say. Fantastic, Bisha. Where do you see point of view? Now it's point of view. Okay. In the next you. maybe couple of years, what you would like to aspire to be? So you know, point of view is the non-profit that I run, and we started about 16 years ago. So one of the things is it was it's you know I've been saying for the last five years that I want to move from POV 1.0 to POV 2.0. Because you get tired, I'll be honest, you know, 15 years you're doing sort of roughly the same stuff. After a point you're like, hey, this is not that exciting as it used to be. So I think what's really good is that over the last four years, we've managed to reinvent ourselves. And everything we are doing now is much more on in the digital space. So for instance, we're taking like rural women who are journalists in Eastern oh. UP oh my God. and teaching them how to use the internet and how to put their newspaper online. And we did one and they got, a, you know what a bob is? Yeah. Best of blogs. Best of blogs. So, yeah, wow. so one of them got it. Yeah, so we are doing that kind of stuff. Like everything we used to do earlier, we are bringing online. Yeah. That's so that's the future over there. That is, I think. I think the future is actually that merge, merge no? Merge. Yeah. Online. Both. Yeah. Online and online. Yeah. yeah. Bishaka, fantastic. Thank you so much Thank for sharing so your much. story yeah. over here. And yeah. Ah, hey, great. I, I, I have to say that I wore my specs. I got my specs because I turned 50 recently. And I will say honestly that I had to put on my specs to read the happy birthday written there. So I, once I saw the cups, I was like, let me bring this along. But this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Great. That's great.